Hi, it's Troy at The Full Sat up here, back with another video for you today. And today I'm going to do an unboxing um, and sort of a full overview. I won't be showing the BIOS. I'm going to do that in another video of my new motherboard. Now, this is the AMD B350 Tomahawk Arctic. As you can see on the front of the box here, it's um, ready for Ryzen. It's got Arsenal Gaming written on it. VR ready because just everything's VR ready these days. Um, and then a few other things as well. We've got Crossfire technology, Windows 10 ready, overclocking support. Is that how you're supposed to write overclocking? I never know. Side of the box, we've got Tomahawk Arctic, um, B350, and then we've got all again, Lugos, Tomahawk Arctic. Now this motherboard was £115, which is about £10 more than I can pick up a normal Tomahawk for from scan.co.uk, but I did get free next day delivery, so I was happy to pay an extra tenner. You got free next day delivery on the one that was £10 less as well. But still, very good. Let's have a closer look at the back of the box then. So it's got about gaming LAN, USB 3.1. We're going to show you loads of this in a minute anyway. Steel armor, mystic lighting for you RGB fanboys out there. We've got a picture, mug, mug shot of the motherboard. And then we've got the Turbo M.2 slot, audio boost, gaming DNA, and then just everything in support. So this is for Ryzen and 7th generation APUs. I don't even know where you buy them from. I think they're OEM only. So let's have a look inside the box then. So first we've got the motherboard. So I'm just going to throw this on the floor. Yeah, put it behind me nicely. For the motherboard. So yeah, it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm only going to know how good it is once I get it all set up and in my system. But I'm really happy with this. Now, if you like this video, tell me why. If you don't like it, tell me why. I know loads of people always want to see sweeping shots and motherboards, but I like to just show the pins. Um, but if you want to see some sweeping shots and motherboards, let me know. Um, and also, if you want to see BIOS videos, I'm going to probably make an overclocking video with this as well. Please let me know because I'll send you a link over when it's done. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. 100 pounds. Come on. Give me four cables. Okay, so here we've got the IO shield. It's not one of their nice spongy IO shields, but it's got a nice black back on it. You've got the gaming series as well. Not that you ever really look at the back of your computer, but that's good. Nice thick manual. That's about how thick my manual was in my Asus one, so that's good. Nice thick manual. So you can just find out where you need to plug everything in, but I'm going to show you that. So screw the manual. Driver disc. Recommend downloading everything from the website. I've already downloaded the latest BIOSes as well. Thank you. How to configure your RAM. I'm going to make a Ryzen RAM video over the next few weeks. Sorry, it's taken a while. And a quick installation, guys. Let's throw all that crap back in the box. Let's get rid of oh, Jesus. Get rid of the box. Here is the motherboard, and it does look absolutely fantastic. My probably only thing I can say about it, just from looking at it like this before I show you the ports, the only thing I do not like about this is that the Intel H270... A motherboard that's about the same price the arctic version of this like the intel arctic one it's got like a cover on it and i can already see that it's got more sata ports basically i feel like a little bit little bit con there but yeah the white is lovely it's not like a it's like a sort of off white and then gray you see how this is going to look fantastic in my builds i think anyone in my channel subscribers knows that i really love building sort of like white and black builds I'm really into it so let's have a look around the io then so we have you've got your ps2 slot two usb 2.0s and you've got dvi vga and hdmi now you're not going to be using those of any of the new ryzen processors they're for basically the apus the seventh generation athlons i mentioned earlier and also upcoming ryzen apus which i think may be the end of the year then we've got one two three usb 3.1 um, and then one USB-C as well, 3.1. We've got the gaming Ethernet, and then you've got all gold-plated. I think that's 7.1 audio. Also, the back as well is all white. Not that you're ever going to see that that much, but I don't know anyone that's got like a crystal case that's missing half the back. You might see it, but that's about it. So, I'm going to take you in for a close look. I'm going to show you half board at a time. And we're just going to have a look at all the ports and connectors. Um, and then, like I said, I'll come back with a bias video over the next couple of weeks. So let's start off with the top of the motherboard then. Now, here you can see we've got the 8-pin power um, that's going to feed power to the CPU. Um, and then we've got these two lovely big heat sinks that have almost got like a bit of blue on them. Um, they sort of look like they're LED um, 
when you look at the picture, but they're not. It's just like a nice sort of blue line. Um, and that's going to keep our MOSFETs nice and cool. And then we've got a six phase power as well. Now you can overclock on the B350 motherboard. I've just always recommended that you don't go to the maximum overclocks that people are doing on the X370. You can do that at your own risk, but you know, those boards have a lot more power phases. Also as well, we've got the AM4 brackets that you can see here. Now I have just removed these just to see if they put AM3 holes as well for people with older coolers and they have not. We've also got the first system fan here. And then we also have um, the CPU fan number one. So here we have room for four DDR4 modules, um, which is supported up to 3200 megahertz. And I'm just going to tip up the board a little bit. As you can see there, they're like the steel series, like they do with the PCI slots. Now you might find it hard to run it at 3200 megahertz at first, but there are BIOS updates coming out regularly. There's already been two updates for this board ready to download from the website. So you're probably going to want to install that straight away. Then, then what we have here is we have a pump header. Now that pump header is rated up to two amps. And then we have another system fan here. So we've got a lot of fan headers on this board. Really happy about this. Then we have the 24 pin power. So moving on to the bottom of the board then, let's start with the PCI slot. So we have two PCIs. Um, these are probably going to be by one mode. Then we've got a PCI 3 by 16 um, PCI Express. I think this one is actually a PCI E 2.0. doesn't say on it anyway, but I think this one, when I read on the specs, it's a 2.0. Now you are going to be using these for Crossfire. I really wouldn't be concerned that that's PCI 2.0 when you're doing Crossfire. You're going to have more than enough bandwidth on this board. And then you have two legacy PCI slots as well. Here we've got the B350 chipset. Now this does light up um, from all accounts, I think. And I did forget to mention we've got white LEDs on the back of this board as well. Now here, let's just give you a quick little tilt around. Here you can see we have a USB 3.0 um, header. And then we have two SATA, two SATA 6 gigabytes per second. And another two SATAs here as well. Would have really liked to have seen four going around the side. But I absolutely love when the PCI, not the PCI, the USB 3s are on this side. Because USB 3 cables with... Um, cases are normally really quite thick and I've actually broken ones that pins on ones where they're set down the bottom here but there is another USB 3.0 you'll find the bottom of the case sort of gets in the way of trying to bend the cable and other things get in the way so I really don't like that then down here we've got jumpers for this is going to be all your power um, and then we've got the speaker we've got expansions for two USBs giving you another four USBs that's looking like, I always forget what that one is. Is that the trusted platform module? Then we've got the COM port, another system fan. So we've got four system fans. Let me have that one, two, three, four. Four system fans, a CPU fan, and we've got a pump fan. That's absolutely fantastic. Like my, B, uh, my Asus one's only got like three headers on it. I really don't like it. Then we also have the audio as well. Now this audio all lights up white. And I think that's about it. 